Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number four guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy I'm here. Today's a special day for me. Um, about uh, three weeks ago I joined my buddy Nate Bright from Nate Bright's Art. I joined his Patreon account and I joined it for many many reasons. Number one, I love him. I like to be up close and personal with him. He is a complete joy, a talented artist, and um, a good, good person. And part of being in Nate's Art Lab, which is his Patreon account, is he does monthly challenges, which are so much fun. I love a challenge, always love a challenge. And this month's challenge is to shade one color, tint one color, do whatever technique you want using those two colors and add a metallic to a color. Now, you're welcome to add as many colors as you want. Um, I don't think I added that many, at least I don't think so. So, how do you shade a color? You shade a color by adding black. How do you tint a color? You tint a color by adding white. How do you make a non-metallic color metallic? By adding a metallic to it. So that's what we did here today. Let's take a look. My main color is one of my favorite colors. It's Payne's Gray. You can do so many things with that beautiful, beautiful dark shade of blue. So right here in this cup, we have just Payne's Gray. I use Golden Fluids Payne's Gray. Right here in this cup, this cup is our shade cup. This is Payne's Gray, and it's shaded with golden fluids in the carbon black. This right here is our tinted cup. That's my Payne's Gray again, and I tinted it by adding white, but I added Deco Art Satin Enamel in the pure white as my white ad. This right here is once again the star of the show, Payne's Gray, and I needed to change it into a metallic. So I added Deco Art Metallics in the tin. Right here is just Deco Art Metallics in the tin all by itself. Right here is Deco Art Satin Enamels in the pure white all by itself. And for funsies, because this girl is like getting her red on this past two weeks, that is my Mac Mac Paint Arteza in the Bordeaux Red. Now, all of our paints today were mixed the same. Well, kind of the same. The golden fluids, you only needed about a tablespoon of paint versus a half an ounce of paint of the Deco Art paints as well as the Arteza paints. But every paint got a healthy squirt of Golden GAC 800. And from my friend Yancy Art over in Germany, one of my favorite pouring mediums that you cannot get here in the States, and it is Malvrick Basics Pouring Medium. I don't know what's in it, but it's a perfect pouring medium when you're doing ring pours, traveling ring pours, anything where you need a thicker paint, especially for this girl who uses a lot of fluid paints. So now and again, I need to thicken up my paints. This is the European pouring medium and it is thick as molasses. So I don't need that much, but Yen, thank you so much for my wonderful pouring medium that I received in the mail today. What are we doing today? We're painting with some thick paints. <laughs> and that's a learning experience all on its own for this girl. A lot of people paint with thick paints. I do not. I paint with very, very thin paints. So um, it leaves a blob on a blob on a blob or a fold on a fold on a fold when you are uh, releasing the paint into the cup below. So I'm really excited about that. What are we doing today? We are doing a ring pour, 
traveling ring pour cloud pour i don't know i can't keep track of what what is called but nate bright uh thank you so much for the in invite nate's art lab guys check out his patreon account i will put the link in the description box below he's a dear heart he's talented and he's good good people love you nate let's get busy write home about. <laughs> I mean, there are some very pretty, interesting things going on in here. But um, the only place that the white showed up was um, the first color in the cup. And to me, it just stands out like a sore thumb. I love the Bordeaux red and how it blended with the silvers and blues. This down and through here is absolutely lovely. I love the base coat color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour another small cup, try and eliminate that big old white blob in the middle and see if we can make a pretty painting out of that. First though, I'm gonna clean up my drippings and put them in a slop bucket and I'll be right back at ya. Give me something, something good.
just beautiful. I love the plum hue that the Bordeaux red took on and oh these little fingerlings or wispy wisp or whatever y'all call them are beautiful. I also like that I left um, some of the bag, uh, negative space with the base coat here and picked up that color over here on this side. Now there are a few I call them measles, the little white paints that pop up, which makes make me absolutely crazy. There are a few of them in here, but I always save a little bit of every single one of my colors and I try to match it up. It's kind of hard because these colors are more blended than those colors, but I do it very gingerly with a very small brush. But um, these colors, the movement is really nice. Uh, I initially was going to exit off a lot of that satin enamel, but I love the little white uh, border that came up here. Um, I might extend that with a paintbrush once it's dry, but yeah, let's go in for a close up. That was that was good fun, guys. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but I promise to share it with you after it gets uh, it gets varnish. But uh, good fun that was. Nate Bright, thank you so much. I'm proud to be a member of your uh, Patreon group, group and um, met a lot of new friends there. And go check Nate out. Check out his Patreon group. He puts a lot of time and effort into it. You all have a wonderful evening, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Peace and love. Bye now. Give me something, something good. Still, still, still with me all the time